Hello guys, it is Gate of Theories here, and the Beaker Girls has just came out. So, we're getting straight into reviewing episode 1. But before we go any further, please make sure that you've clicked that red subscribe button down below, and have your notifications turned on so that you get notified every time we review any brand new Tracy Beaker content. <laughs> So, I actually really did like this episode. Is it the most amazing thing ever from Tracy Beaker and the Dumping Ground? No, of course not, but it's still really, really good and is getting me hopeful for the next few episodes. The person who shines here is definitely Jess. I think we can all agree that Emma Davies has improved so much at playing Jess since My Mum Tracy Beaker, and her and Tracy bounce off each other so well in this, and Danny Harmer is great in this as well, and it's great to see her back. Since this is the first episode, let's talk about all the new stuff. Let's start with the new intro, and I am so happy that we finally got an intro. It's plain, it's simple, and uses the look of a 2D drawing like how all of the other shows do, and I I think it works. It'll take me a while to get used to it, but I'm liking it, and one of the letdowns that I had for my mom Tracy Beaker for me was that I didn't have a proper intro, so I'm so glad that this one does. The new setting I really like as well. It's a complete contrast from the city in my mom Tracy Beaker to the seaside, and it's great we're finally getting to see Tracy at the beach rather than just the journey to the beach. Flo I'm already loving, but I don't think she'll be that important to the story, but as a side character, I so far really like her. Jordan I think is really interesting, and I'm so happy the Beaker Girls is finally diving more into the care life side of things, because if there's one thing I really didn't like about my mom Tracy Beaker, it's that it had nothing really to do with life and care. You only really watched it because you liked the character Tracy Beaker, and that was it. It was lacking the other element that the shows like The Dumping Ground use that make this franchise so great. Now we've seen homeless people many times before in the franchise, Kazima and Alex come to mind, but it's a nice new take on the idea here, so I'm here for it. And I love how Jess kind of feels like she knows a bit about it because of her mum, relating back to the story of Tracy Beaker which I always love to see. The one negative that I have unfortunately is the new character Patience, or as Jess calls her Paish. I don't know, it just felt really cringy between Jess and her, which is fine, as it's not really the focus, but it did just feel a bit off. The cringy humour isn't really for me, however I did really like the little cringy humour between Peter and Tracy, I thought that was pretty nice. I'd say the main negative I have is unfortunately the ending. Seeing Sean and Tyrone back was great, but if you'd seen the trailer, we were all expecting that, so it didn't really come as a huge shock to me. And it just seemed a bit too over-exaggerated when Jess says that seeing Jordan near Sean and Tyrone is the biggest problem she's ever had to face and with the biggest secret ever that she's had to hold, and it just... I don't know, felt a bit much for a first episode. And that being the cliffhanger, it didn't really hook me like the My Mum Tracy Beaker cliffhangers did. The cliffhanger of Sean proposing to Tracy, yes it was really quick and out of nowhere, but as a first episode it really hooked me. This cliffhanger didn't as much, now that's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just it wasn't as powerful as when My Mum Tracy Beaker did it. So for a first episode it was decent, not incredible, but decent. It didn't amaze me as much as the first episode of My Mum Tracy Beaker did, but to be fair, that one had to get you hooked into the idea of Tracy as a mum, but as a continuation of that story, I'm very excited to see where this goes, and it's making me look forward to the next episodes that are coming. But anyway guys, that is the end of this review, I hope you have enjoyed it, if you have, make sure that you smash that like button down below, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and make sure that you stay tuned to the channel as we will be reviewing every single episode and a full review of the whole series once it is fully out. Let us know all your thoughts about The Beaker Girls and its first episode down below in the comments, what did you like about it and what did you not like about it, and as always, we've been here on Gative Theories, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.